Mary, thank you for that live report. And we're getting answers after we received photos of fallen concrete inside the parking garage at the Roderick Ireland Courthouse in Springfield. This coming as a review is underway over the future of the courthouse following the discovery of dangerous mold inside the building. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford joins us live in studio with those details. Paris. Chris, I'm told about 60 courthouse employees park in the garage located under the courthouse in Springfield. One employee we spoke with is worried about the safety of others while walking under the crumbling ceiling. These pictures shared with Western Mass News were taken inside the parking garage located under the Roderick Island Courthouse in Springfield. We're told about 60 employees park there on a daily basis. And on Friday, employees say pieces of the concrete ceiling crumbled down, hitting multiple cars. You can see here in these photos taken Wednesday, parking spots have been marked off. Rosemary Sakamani, the Hamden County Register of Probate, tells us she parks her car there along with other colleagues. I was notified Monday evening via email that there was um, concrete that had fallen from the ceiling of the garage, the parking garage. We asked her if this made her nervous, either for her own safety or possible damage to her car. She tells us she's more nervous about the people who may be walking through the garage on any given day. It's also where the um, prisoners come in and get um, dropped off. It's also where they escort juvenile um, juveniles from juvenile court to the Hall of Justice as well. And they actually walk through. Automobiles, those are just things and they can be repaired. My concern really is for the safety of those that are down in the basement. Now we reached out to the Massachusetts trial court about the situation. A spokesperson sent us a statement that reads, quote, on Friday, a piece of concrete fell from the parking garage ceiling around and behind a couple of parked vehicles. Trial Court Facilities Department staff were on site that day and performed an inspection and cleared the debris. Over the weekend, facility staff removed any concrete that appeared to have the potential of falling. A specialty concrete vendor was at the parking garage today to inspect the ceiling and will provide guidance to the facilities department. They also tell us the trial court had a structural engineer on site Tuesday and they advised the trial court that the structure of the garage is safe. Sakamani says she's hopeful this issue with the garage will be considered when the assessment of the building is completed. A required step in the courthouse settlement between the trial court and multiple employees, which came out of a lawsuit over toxic mold found inside the building. It's something that had forced the courthouse to shut down for a period of time for cleaning and review. This latest assessment is supposed to determine if they will repair the courthouse or build a new one. My concern is when any building debris falls, especially from the inside, that there's some concerns there. Um, I mean, I'm not an engineer, but that, that, that's not good. Now we are told the settlement coordinator, former Judge John Payne, has been made aware of the garage issues and will act accordingly and take the right next steps. Reporting live in studio, Paris Dunford for Western Mass News.